We're getting more into the farming thing. It's really exciting. So we've been watering these plants, obviously, and we put a nice little King Shafaria bed over this when we first planted it a few weeks ago. And as I was watering, I'm like, oh my gosh, some more are coming. There's been quite a few coming over the past few days. I don't know if that has something to do with full moon or the rains or what, but mushrooms are coming, y'all. We had a few, it's like they're kind of like moving down the line in this garden bed, which is interesting to me. But, uh, you know, we started a few there to my mom and then my wife came in, harvested a few more. Let's see if I can find them. Ah! Spotted. Look at this, Owen! Come look! What have we got here? Mushrooms. Are you sure? Yeah. Do you see, how many do you see? Oh, it's three and one. Cool. Look at Did you see this one, Owen? Why I have these? Why you have those? Oh, because I'm going to break them. Oh. Look at these beautiful burgundy capped mushrooms. Mm. What are we going to do with these? Hmm? What's for dinner? And then now we get to harvest a few more today, so check these out. Um, dink. Cool. So there's some. I picked that one right there, see? <laughs> Got a seven year old cameraman here. Pink, another one. So, you know, we were watering and also, you know, thinking what we could put in our dinner tonight. And then, you know, bees are going in dinner. Long stems, interesting for Stefaria. Ah, oh, and then yes, another one. So it is really cool to plant them in the garden because one, they are delivering nutrition to your plant roots, which I've talked about in another video. These leaves provide a little shade story. So, you know, out in a place where it's full sun, you could have a have a, a mushroom bed and your plants are gonna provide your shade, right? And then also, these things come so fast, y'all, that I probably would have missed this crop had I planted this somewhere kind of random and obscure that I only check every once in a while. But the fact that they're in my garden, I see them more often, cool? One of my biggest questions that I wanna address in this video is what to do the top cover. In that first video, I did cardboard, but now what I'm doing is I'm doing like a thick layer. This is vetiver. If you're in the States, you have straw. If you're here and you don't have vetiver, something lysis like this, right? It's like just a dry grass layer and then really put it thick. Oh, look at these. <laughs> these are pretty. Those are so pretty. So, so if you put a really thick layer of that dry grass, and do it dry so it doesn't grow up into it and kind of loose so there's, you know, airspace, but do it really thick so it holds the moisture in. Because after you inoculate, you don't want to water a ton, right? Because if you, there is such thing as overwatering with, with mushrooms inside or outside. Um, but if a thick layer, you know, that will hold the moisture in. And then when they are ready to fruit, you don't have to do anything special. There's enough airspace will there to just literally push the grass up. So that's what I recommend to put on top is a nice thick mat, right? Um, we did this bed where we literally did half the bed. We did like a mulch layer of the Strafaria first, and then we just pulled holes and planted right in that. Worked, I think, easier. The other one, we had seedlings we had to get in the evening, so we actually planted the seedlings first and then mulched around, which is actually a lot more work. So yeah, got a little video showing you guys that. And thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. A little impromptu mushroom harvesting video. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me interrupt. Let me interrupt. Um, gang, I've been editing this video, and we've had plenty of King's Surprise coming in after uh, my full editing of this video. And, you know, I kind of want to, like, video every single time we get a harvest, but I haven't been. But right now, it's just too much. You know, come on. It's just too much. This is definitely, like, this King's Trafari bed has been the biggest producing bed, excuse me, son, where were the other ones that we've... we've had? I think the garden's the way to go just because it keeps getting water. You want to look for more? Because I found some down here. Oh yeah, look at this. 
And a lot of these have been like perfection. Like, look at that. Come on. Uh, oh. Look at these monsters. Those look. Oh, that one. These look so good. I'm going to eat those. I mean, wow. I know, right? And look at all this mycelium. We'll do another video on this, but you can regrow that. And I'm just watering today, and it's like, this is this kind of stuff that can happen. Just keeps you on your toes and makes gardening, like, gives a little, you know, a little flair to the whole situation here. So thanks for letting me interrupt. Um, just wanted to. Okay, back to... Back to past, past all. Thank you guys for checking it out. Sorry to interrupt. We were walking back out here and, um, you know, <laughs> spotted some more. Oh, there's one. Oh, yeah. There's one. You spot another? Right here. Right there. Right here, Dad. You want to pick it? Sure. Oh, good eye. There's another one. <laughs> It's like, it's like Easter. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, dude. Good eye. You just have to cook the mangoes all Here's the way through. <laughs> That's a cutie. That's a cutie. All glory to God. Thanks for checking us out. Until next time. Well, I hope this inspires you at home to... Put some mushrooms in your garden bed. I haven't found an. Oh, 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 what? I found another one. This one, some others found it first, though. That's what's for dinner. Wow, look at our broccoli. Look at our broccoli. I think we should harvest this tomorrow. Yeah, Look, I see a little sunflower that's starting to open up. Do you see it? That was so sweet. Can I have one of those?